So Helen Mick, um, what are your recollections and why did you even think of starting a folk club slash festival? Uh, we started off, Longford was going at the time when we moved down to Franklin and uh, we started the folk club in the Franklin Tavern then we moved to Beaumont which is a, the old hospital yeah. there or something and uh, Longford became uh, mainly interstate and I thought it would be nice to have a festival for uh, more local artists. So uh, we got together, about four of us, wasn't it? Just decided to have it and uh, the, the folk club, more people were actually coming over from Signet than there were in Franklin going to it, so we moved to the RSL in, uh, oh, yeah. in Signet. We did a lot of uh, sitting outside uh, supermarkets with raffles and begging, begging things, <laughs> selling raffle tickets. Fundraise, you know, like bush dance. We did yeah, little we did, things, yeah, you know, leading up to it yeah. so that yeah. we had like a little kitty. <laughs> we'd sort of have a workshop in the middle pub or something, then we'd get out, we go to the next one, they'll all follow along to yeah. the next one. <laughs> the same people again. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, know, we started off very um, slow. Yeah, and, and it took ages before Signet um, locals, like they just would not engage. Yeah. That was the whole... You know that we were alternate. We know, yeah. Green, yeah. you know. Yeah. And we were three and, it, and it was we <laughs> were still talking about it after, you know, for years. It was even mm. that it was just so hard to, to break the mold, you know, for them to come out and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And Mick had the contacts pretty much for musicians and yeah for that side of it, didn't you? Yeah. And then yeah. everybody else just. I mean, George was a teacher at. Um, at St James College, so he had the contact, yeah. and and I think you know they were, you know, at the church as well, um, so they had the contact to get the Carmel Hall. Uh, and, yeah, it was a good laugh there. It's a lot of good, good fun, good sessions. Yeah. One time in the middle pub, where they're still playing, where they're seven o'clock in the morning, breakfast time. Okay. Yeah, Matt Dickey <laughs> fell off the stage playing his accordion, just lay on the lay on the he floor, didn't stop play, playing. kept playing. Oh, no, must, back. I've got a recording somewhere in a cassette. <laughs> and he didn't miss a beat. Yeah. It's a classic. Samson Hawkers. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> Gather round your sailors and listen to me song It's all the trick was played on me, it won't take very long I came home from sea the other day, a girl I chanced to meet She asked me if I wanted her to dance at Patrick's tree Said I, my pretty fair maid, I don't dance too well Besides I'm bound for Newry town, me paired was there to dwell for I've been at sea these last few years, I've saved up fifty pounds. My parents are expecting me to night in your town. Well, if you do not dance too well, you can have a treat. You can have a glass of brandy and something nice to eat. At nine o'clock this evening, I'll take you to your train. But don't forget to call on me. I'm on board the ship, the sailors all would say. Now Jack, he looks much prettier since first he went away. Is this the new suit fashion you went to buy a show? Tell me where you got it and is there any more? The captain said that, 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 that I thought you were from Newry Town. You might have brought a better shot than that for fifty pounds. I would have brought a better shot if I only had the chance. I met this girl in High Street, she asked me up to dance. I danced me on destruction, I did it for sure. And that's all I can think of now, there won't be any more. 
that's what happens when you forget the last verse. <laughs> 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 part of the part of the one before. 